Hello, so here we have another participant in today's Swan Day, Staten Island, Pamela Hernandez. How are Hello, you? Hi. So how did you find out about today's Swan Day event? I found out about Swan Day through Dave. Mm -hmm. um, That's with he's stereotype, stereotype co. co. And he put me in touch with Elaine a few weeks ago, not even that long ago. And we put all this together. I hosted the um, Create Your Dream Space mm -hmm. workshop. Oh, so, fabulous. Yes, right. that just ended right now. We had a really good turnout. And we had um, the people who participated sketch their home office in, so they can go home today and get started and set it all up. Now, I want to talk about that, you guys. Um, first off, she has a website. Um, it's the, the interiorsbyella.com. Interiorsbyella.com. You'll see the link below. Um, she, I, I actually sat in this workshop with her, and I was greatly inspired with her yeah. words and what she, what she was saying. We need to have that workspace because it's important for our creativity as artists and as business people as well. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I liked that she works with is if you don't have a large enough space to work with, how to make it work for you. Yeah. She even spoke about, you know, many of us live in Manhattan. We don't have a lot of room. They're not building the pre-war buildings anymore. Yeah. So, you know, we're not in the closet. Or they are. It's not, exactly. not in the open. Not for you. Exactly. Right. We don't have a couple millions to, to do that. But the great thing is building your dream world and your dream space that you need to get to where you could be, where you would have exactly. those large spaces to work with. She is a professional and a, an expert in transforming your room. So could you tell us how you got into that? You said you were you started at 14 years old as far as interior yes. decorating. Yes, um, I remember I was in middle school, eighth grader, my counselor sat me down. She's like, what do you want to do in high school? I said, she gave me a few options. I picked interior design, child care, and um, computers, I think. And I got my first choice was interior design. I always like rearranging my room since I was little. Like I would move my bed from one side to the other or try different things. Mm -hmm. um, it was just always something that came natural to me and that I really enjoyed. And I did it in college. I got my degree and I worked on projects in the commercial realm, also residential. Oh, fabulous. I've done some hospitality. Yes. Mm, all very exciting. My favorite is working with um, smaller clients. So mm -hmm. people who have homes, so I guess more residential, but or even an office I would be willing to do, but I just like that one-on-one -on -one interaction. I don't really like the feel of working in a commercial space where what tends to happen sometimes is you get pigeonholed into doing one task as an interior right. designer. So I would only probably be drafting or doing CAD, whereas um, doing residential, I feel like I have a little bit more control as to what I design and being creative. Right. And like I said, when you find someone of this caliber, <laughs> you realize it's those people that find what they love and are able to make a business out of what they love. You know, that's when you know that you've got the right person on the job. And that's very important. I've had to go back and to the drawing board and, and redefine what my passion is sometimes, or not what my passion is, because I think that stays pretty um, stable throughout time, but more as to how to um, direct my passion into what field, because that could translate into many things. Now I have a question for you. It seems that when you're working with people, you help them tap into that for themselves as well. Yes, yes. Please tell me more about that. Um, it's a transformational experience uh, as we it's design the space. Mm -hmm. um, what a lot of people don't realize is your space, your environment affects your health, your uh, mood, how you are going to feel, how you interact with people, um, your energy, the flow of your energy, that all is something to take into account when you're de designing a space. So as we move and get rid of stuff you don't need, like the person or my clients usually go through this experience where they just feel a sense of like letting go of the old and embracing the new. It's mm -hmm. very transformational and a lot of my clients, most of my clients have come back and said that they feel so much better, like they feel like they can start over, they're wow. excited about um, starting on a new project because they're organized now and it's so easy to just sit down and get started versus 
sitting down and having to find everything that you need. By the time you find everything, you're so motivated <laughs> right? to do what you set out to do. So. Exactly. It's all about been getting there. organized. We've all been there. So yeah. able and to help <laughs> us. <laughs> and then staying organized. That's the other thing. Once you get organized, like let's stay organized. And there's, I always give my clients like tips on what to do, and I love organization. See, and that's how you know. <laughs> that's how I know you know what you're talking about. Because even even with that, with connecting to your client, figuring out how they live naturally, yeah, and creating a space that works with that. Like I know you were mentioning one thing. You know, if somebody likes having a bunch of things out in front of them on a desk, to know. You don't want to close things up because they're not going to be the type of person that wants to keep open. open. Yeah. You have to have little baskets or little containers so that they can throw it in there and it still maintains that Find order. out what works for you and mm -hmm. it's going to be a trial and error at first. You know, you're going to have to try out different things until you find the one that works for you and then success. Eureka, <laughs> Eureka success. <laughs> so again, Interiors by Ella. Yes. The website is down below. Please at least go and have a consultation. You will be inspired. And follow me at Interiors by Ella on Instagram. I do regular posts for inspiration on oh, home decor, um, office decor, all you can think of and dream. Interiors by Ella. Thank you. Again, you guys should have been here at Swan, <laughs> Swan Staten Island 2016. Really? Well, it's not too late. We still have four hours, so let's go. Yes, true. <laughs> but not by the time this airs, so never mind. Scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela Hernandez, thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much. My nice pleasure. My pleasure to see you again and see her on the website.